This Veterans History Project interview is being conducted on Tuesday, June 14, 2005, at the Niles Public Library in Niles, Illinois. Today is appropriately Flag Day uh, and a most uh, apt uh, date on which to interview uh, an interview to interview a veteran of World War II. My name is Neil O'Shea, and I'm speaking with Anthony Dina. Uh, Mr. Dina is going to be assisted during this interview by his wife, Phyllis. And Anthony and Phyllis uh, have prepared a statement for the Veterans History Project, which Mr. Dina is now going to read into the record. Over you, Tony. Start from the beginning? Okay. <clears throat> My name is Anthony J. Dina, and I live at 7450 Waukegan Road, Niles, Illinois. Previously, I lived on Logan Square Area in Chicago. Prior to that, I lived at 2217 North Seminary Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. My wife is assisting me with this report. Before joining the service, I worked for Chicago Mailers Union. I was living on Seminary Avenue in Chicago with my parents, as most of us did in those days. I enlisted in the Army Air Corps January 1942 after a sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. I chose Air Corps because that was my preference. My father told me I had a high draft number. I should wait to be, to, to be drafted. I chose to enlist. I'll never forget the day of my induction. My father came with me to the induction center in Chicago. Didn't want to go home until it's his pa. You have to go home now. I was sent to Jefferson Barracks, Missouri. At one week, my father and 14-year-old sister came to visit me. They found me, me peeling the mountain potatoes. Lucky me, I got out of that detail. From Jefferson Barracks, I went to Kentucky, Jackson, Mississippi, then Columbia, South Carolina for a year. In 1943, we sailed from Camp Kilmer, New Jersey. We didn't know where we were going, but we were going, we were know we were dodging German boats. We finally arrived in Casablanca, Africa, and found we were in the European, African, Middle Eastern campaign. I was an armor on a B-25 bomber. We invaded Casablanca, Tunisia, Sicily, Naples, Foggia, Rome, Arnold, North Apennines, Po Valley, and Southern France. I was lucky to live through all that. There were many cases that one time I heard the explosions and I started running, hit the ground and covered my neck for I knew it. I received a shrapnel wound in my buttocks. We slept on the ground in tent, tents outdoors. The food was not mamas used to make. There were times we traded cigarettes and candy for eggs. One family sister made a few of us soldiers a spaghetti dinner after we brought the food. I could talk Italian to them eggs. We enjoyed Bob Hope Christmas show, not our entertainers, Listen to the radio and Axis Sally. Axis Sally, she's a, she was a, we were, she was an American. We call her Axis Sally. We traded, we played some softball when interviewing it was quiet. Holiday was sad. I was fortunate to visit my Italian grandparents during the invasion of Sicily. Then we, we, we reached home. Many of us soldiers went to the Vatican and received a blessing from Pope Pius. I wrote to my parents and regularly and received emails periodically. War was over with Germany in March 1945. In August 1945, we were on a ship coming home in America when we heard Japan had surrendered. 
and Japan had surrendered, were being sent to the South Pacific. I was discharged September 21, 23, on 1945, and soon met my lifelong parents, partner Phyllis. We have been married 58 years and are blessed to have four devoted children and nine grandchildren. We have attended 57 bombing reunions with many of my and many of my buddies who well, was corresponding with at Christmas. Many of my pre many of my friends have passed away. So I belong to the VFW Post 3579 Park Ridge, Illinois. But I no longer do active duty to ex to exosomer and Parkinson's disease, which slows me down. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of words and things. I don't know if it's uh, did. Is it acceptable? Oh, I think so. I, I think that was a very uh, uh, concise um, statement. Um, there were you were an armorer on a B-25 bomber. Yeah. What does the armorer I do? I load the bombs. You load the bombs. Yeah. So did your, so your unit, your air unit had to support the advance of the infantry on the ground, kind mm -hmm. of? Move closer. Did, you did your planes support the infantry that were on the that was on the ground? I was assigned to that. I mean, your planes. Where did your planes go? In front of the infantry? Is that what yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Where were your planes headed when they were loaded? You, they took off. Where did they go? Well, we didn't know. We know where we're going. We we know where we're going. Yeah. Land. We landed in the Pacific. You didn't know where the planes were going when they took off from the air bases over there in no, we in we Africa. Yeah, we weren't told. But we know where we when we got there, then we know. But I'm talking about when you loaded the planes. Once you were there, you loaded the planes. Where did the planes go when they took off? Were they with the infantry? No, they no. We would catch up with them. They we we don't know where they went. They just we. We loaded the planes and we took a, we had to be in, in, we had to be there in another area. So they would assign targets to the yeah. group and then you'd hit them and then, I, I, yeah, you would, you were assigned bombing targets probably or something. The planes like. were assigned bombing targets. Oh, the yeah. Ca oh yeah. Captains. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he always uh, says uh, they would, the formation would be, so pretty taking off, but coming back, there was always maybe two or one missing. Yeah. You know, how they go in threes. Yeah. I think I was reading recently that um, the fighting in Italy was very, very difficult, and that uh, maybe it hasn't gotten as much coverage as it, as it should, because it was uh, hard going. And yeah, Monte Cassino was some famous battle, and... Uh, well, yeah, Tony talks about some battles. What was it uh, that you said? Catherine Pass. Catherine that was Pass. the beginning. That was the beginning. As if they hadn't held the line, uh, yeah. they would have been back hold, in the ocean. We'd all be back in the ocean. Catherine Pass, was that in Sicily? Catherine Pass. That Was that in Africa or Sicily? No, no North Africa. North Africa. Yeah. We, didn't, we got to Sicily. That was different. That was afterwards. We went to Sicily. And they, my when we went to Sicily, my grandpa said, saying, "This is my time. This is my grandson. <laughs> Got his uniform." <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> and my cousins. And were, Italy had not capitulated. My yet. cousins were prisoners of war. So I mean. And I told my aunt and uncle, "We we treat them. We treat them good. We did. We the war was over for them, but I still had to go on. But we treated them good, the soldiers. In fact, we I think we had some on the payroll." Yeah. But, uh, what do you know? What town that was in Sicily, or the Where the, the grandparents? The, yeah, yeah, it was Palermo. Oh, Palermo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We invaded Palermo, and then we went to. I made my way to where my grandparents lived. They were in a village right outside of Palermo. 
I wonder what your dad said or your mom. That was really uh, what a story. <laughs> my father, I told my father he had to go home now. <laughs> oh. Well, this was when you were in the states. Yeah, that wasn't. He wasn't in Sicily, no. but uh, uh, he knew the captain was it, and so uh, you know how the letters all had to be censored. Oh yes. Well, this captain didn't censor his mail that was going to your folks. Wasn't that it? What's what, that? that captain, I forget what his name was, he didn't censor your mail that went to your folks. You got to send uh, things yeah. to your folks. Yeah. I don't want them to be looking at my mail. Well, I mean... He, I know, but I didn't. They didn't. I forget who the, that captain was that you were friends with. That... Uh, I mean, you you could write to letters to your folks, and they didn't cut out a lot of the stuff. No, that they didn't some cut out nothing. No. no, but they should have maybe. Yeah, I think they were particular about uh, yeah people writing home and telling them where the troops were, yeah, or where they were right, going next, right, and they'd say right. Yeah, uh -huh. some of the veterans. Yeah. So, Tony, you got a lot of medals over there, right? Yeah, I forget. Yeah, you got to forget the. Well, you know what you got, don't you remember? Well, I mean, all those... Uh, is that a silver star? Uh-huh. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. You, you should have wore your campaign hat so he could have yeah. seen yeah. what you, Yeah, he's got quite a few ribbons, you know, some of them... Yeah. Some of them, I guess, were considered smaller battles, well, so yeah, I think what are there's these? a few... Maybe you could read these into the record. You here. know what? Uh, yeah. The uh, a European African Middle Eastern theater ribbon with one silver and two bronze battle stars, one service stripe, a good conduct medal, five overseas service bars. Battles were Tunisia, Sicily, Naples, Foggia, Rome, Arno, North Apennines, Po Valley, and Southern France. Wow. Yeah. So they really covered a lot of territory. Yeah, a lot of people fell, fell as we get kept walking. Yeah. Did you make a complete recovery from the shrapnel injury? Did you make a complete recovery from the shrapnel? Uh, yeah. I'd had a lot of visitors at Purdy Nurses. Well, he was in the hospital and he says all the captains and everybody <laughs> came to see the nurses, they came to see him, but it was really the nurses. He came to see the nurses. <laughs> <laughs> was that in uh, in Italy or? Uh, Where were you uh, for the hospital? Was that in uh, Sicily or Italy? In Sicily. No, um, it's all the same. Yeah. But it was in Sicily. The hospital was in Sicily? Yeah. Well, we went to GI, huh? the GI hospital. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but my my grandpa, he's uh, he's, he's in the town. He's, this is my grandson. Oh yeah, and his grandma said, first you come and bomb me, now you come and visit me." <laughs> <laughs> Tough lady. Have you ever? Did you go back and visit her after the well, war? Well, she was gone, but we year. did go back. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah on our twenty fifth wedding anniversary. Then we a came lot back. of his cousins and everything, yeah. they were very happy to see him. They had been just little guys when he was over there. So, um... Well, you couldn't, you couldn't understand Italian, so... My, 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 my Uncle Mike says, why don't you teach her how to speak Italian? <laughs> <laughs> but they, they took care of my wife, I tell you. Everybody said, said that's Tony's wife. That's it. We went to Sweden first on our 25th. But we got your sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweden and Dane. Oh yeah, Swedish and Dane. We invaded Sicily. My mother came from Sweden. My father was born in this country, but his parents came from Denmark. I don't know. We went into France, and we got into Sicily too. In yeah, Germany. I mean, those countries are so close there. I didn't realize that. Oh, right. France almost butt, butted up against Italy or right. something. Yes. Higher. I thought Spain was there right below France, but I mean... It, I used to call them frogs. <laughs> they didn't like me no frog. 
<laughs> uh, poor guys. My cousins were prisoners. We were fighting, fighting against my cousins, Italian army. I said, well, they're, if we got them as prisoners, we treat them good. But if the English get them, or the others, uh, ah, forget them. And we we're not responsible, but we treated them good. You repeat. The war was over for them. Yeah. 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 So you must have been glad to get back home to the to Chicago. Well, my father was glad. <laughs> <laughs> he came with me to Fort Dix, and I said, "Pa, you got to go home now." You know, you just didn't want to. You didn't go to Fort Dix. No, no. But no, it, you were you glad when you got home to Chicago after the war oh, was after over? The war. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, sure, I was glad. Yeah, but you—you—you you, you had been away for three years. Yeah, yeah. he was in a long time. My grandpa, time. my grandfather in Italy, in Italy, and I'd be walking with them. I got an American uniform on, and he's saying in Italian, "This is my grandson, my grandson, and my cousins were prisoners of war. I'm fighting against my cousins." Yeah. And then I told him that uh, the war was over. We we treated him good. Okay, yeah. you said that already. Yeah. Okay. So, um, did you have any difficulty adjusting to life back in back in uh, in in peacetime in Chicago? Was it hard to get used to not being in the army? Were you just so happy to get home? When you came back from after the war, was it hard to? Uh, get back in the swing of things, or did you get a job right away, or what? No, I didn't. I just went along with the flow, you know. I did. Uh, I know how to get a job. My father, he's yeah. He wanted me to. I don't know what he wanted me to do. I just, Your uncle wanted you to get join the police force. Yeah. Your father didn't want that. <laughs> he wanted him to. Uh, take the exam for the post office. So he retired yes. from the Postal Service in uh, 1972. He had 55 years of service Wow! with his service. Was it 55 years? Huh? It wasn't 55 years of service. Uh, let's see, you went in 40. Right out to Pearl Harbor. You, yeah, but what was it, 25 years of service? It, how many, and when you retired from the post office in 1955, how, how long had you worked for the post office? About 30 years. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Easy. Yeah, that's the only job. I don't want nothing else. Yeah, that's right. That, cause I, yes, because it would have been 1942 because he got credit for his years in service. Because he retired in 72. So did you... Did you ever see Tony in uniform? Did it, did it no. happen to make a good impression upon yeah, you? No, 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 no. I just on pi pictures. Yeah. And uh, we met right after he came out of service. September, he, he was out, discharged in September, and we met in September of 45. My father and mother, my, my father and my uncles, they said, watch her. They said, watch her. Well, I uh, took catechism. She's a at the Catholic Church, and his uh, uncle, the church that we I was going to was in the old neighborhood, the old Italian neighborhood. I don't know if you Taylor around Cabrini Green. Oh yes, yes, yeah. And uh, so his aunt and uncle lived there, and the uncle would take me to and from and get me on the streetcar. <laughs> Because, like I told you, I'm from Iowa, you know, and I didn't know much about the city. But they were good. How come you've got so many computers in here? <laughs> That's another interview. <laughs> oh. Well, this interview is, is taking place in our uh, computer room. Oh. And um, it's always, um, it took me a while to figure out where to have the interviews because we had them in one room, but everybody could see in and it was kind of noisy. Oh. Then I had it in a bigger room, but there was too much competition with other departments for the use of the room. Oh. And then the, uh, the lady that's on, this, on the team uh, here, on the Veterans History Project team, Kate Wallachie, Kate said, Neil, you should use 
the computer room because it's quieter in there and it's near the front door and you can see the people when they come in. So this, w this is the nicest space that we have that's usually available and it has a good wall for, for a taking picture. a picture. Yeah. And I'm glad you asked that because I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the interview to like you to say where the interview is taking place. Oh. So thanks. A good thing you're here, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, I mean, look at all these computers. Yeah. And of course, uh, all right. this computer technology is going to help us with this uh, history project because that picture that I took can be digitized and shown on a computer. And then we can send that to the Library of Congress in Washington. And then theoretically, it's supposed to work out that everybody, uh, they've got maybe thousands upon thousands of interviews, but they're all going to wind up on the internet oh. so people can you know we have like a living memory on the internet it's all because of you know computers and technologies oh, that's oh, one nice thing about the the computers sure, so it's sure. uh, sort of appropriate that we're using this as an interview room today yeah. oh, i tell you computers are something changing right? the world yeah. yeah yeah well i think we've uh tony you when you um i'm just trying to think if we've got all the important points uh, covered for the interview uh what was the highest rank you attained in the uh, corporal? You were corporal yeah. in the Army Air Corps. He always kind of resented that. Yeah, because a lot of these guys came from the states and they already had rank. So and there was and, no room for him to war. move up because they all already had sergeants and so forth. Yeah, I was interviewing one vet, and he said he was really lucky because he was only a private first class, but they wanted him because he could type, and then the. The master sergeant would be sent home. Then he had to move up the tech sergeant, then some other sergeant, then the, then they put, and he got he got a couple of promotions that way. Oh, really? Completely different situation from uh -huh. uh, from Tony, maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. But I mean, uh, most all the guys that went over, I mean, they went over right. They were some of the first ones to land in Africa, and uh, in fact, Worse. his outfit is a 379th. Well, then from then on, there was a 3D, 380th, the 429th, the 489th, but they were all groups that would come afterward. But here, these guys that were coming had already attained stateside, yeah. yeah, yeah, sergeant and so forth, and they 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 didn't um, move these guys, been in France, guys up. Yeah. These other guys, the uh, old timers. The, uh, the 57th Bomb Wing Reunions, are they in Chicago? Or? No, they're all over. Different, uh, we've been to uh, Orlando, we've been to uh, Boston, we've been to Philadelphia, we've been to uh, oh, South Carolina, we've been to Colorado. Uh, they've had them in Phoenix. We've missed some, you know, we've been missing some the last few years. But we might go this year because it's in St. Louis. Not too far. Yeah, and uh, there were about 12 guys that he palled around with when he was in service. They and their wives, we all used to have such a good time when we'd go to these things <coughs> and we'd be together. And now, like I say, so a lot of them are gone and a lot of them just don't, can't make it anymore because they're like Tony, 87, Tony is 87. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, Philip Grippo died. Yes, uh, uh -huh. his best buddy passed away. Grippo. Grippo. He, was he Italian? Yes, uh -huh. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <emo>. Nicest <laughs> guy you'd ever want to meet. Tony ran into him. Where was it? In the toilet? In uh, was it in uh, the states or was it? In the states. In the states. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, he's, where are you from? So where are you from? He saw side, I was north side. <laughs> and then they became the buddies. After the war. That, that he, Tony stood up for his wedding, and uh, Tony stood up for a couple of guys in the service. So was, was Tony a, an, armor, an, ar, uh, an armorer also in the... Oh, emo, you mean? Emo, sorry. Yes, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Was but, it one armorer per plane, or...? How how did how did that work? Was it one armorer per plane, or were there a few uh, armorers putting uh, the bombs on? No, there were two of us, I think. There were two. Well, we had bombers, and then we had other guys on taking part of the other plane. We took care. We took care to be twenty-fives. See, but there were uh, 
Well, they were all B-25s, weren't no, they? No, oh, they, no. Oh, no? No, they had B- B-24s? Yeah. I thought they were all in England. No, England had a different show. Different, uh, we call them the Limeys. Yeah, but I know Herb Martin came out of England. He was based in England. Who, Mar- Martin? Herb Martin. Oh, he could His be- base was in England. He was a, a pilot. Yeah, but he was in the Army in Army Air Corps. He wasn't in the Air Corps? He, he, you're talking about... Who are you talking about now? Herb? Martin. Yeah. Yeah, he was in the Pacific. No, he wasn't. He, he was, was a, that we, He was over the Pluesti Raids. Yeah, well, that's in the north of... That's where we were. I but know, he, but he came out of England, his plane. Well, wasn't it? Yeah, but we we were... We weren't together all the time. No, I know no. that. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the, he flew a B-24. Did you have B-24s and B-25s oh, yeah. on your base? No, that B-9. No. What did you have? B, B-19s. B, uh, B-25s. B-25s. Yeah. yeah. B-25s. Yeah, he gets a little, gets a little tough. I was an armor on a B-25. Yeah. How many guys were there on one plane to load bombs? Was no, it just one or was no, it? No, two of us. Okay. And then we had people in the front of the of the phone. How long would it take to load a plane? How long would it take to load a plane? Oh, we never figured it out. I just get a load. Yeah, didn't take long. They we had stuff to lift them up with. We still lift them up by. Yeah. Get them by the nose and pick them up like. Would that. there be like fifty bombs or well, fifty was, bombs a plane? No. Well, it's a big bomb. We wouldn't, but it would be seventeens. They they were bigger bombs. No, the bombs we learned we. Uh, it was easy for you know two guys. You can you, we had to, to roll them up. We did it by hand. <laughs> did the easy way. Strong man, huh? In those days. Well, you know, we came out of a, a neighborhood in Chicago. If you had to fight your way to school and fight your way back. So he always <laughs> says he would fight with one guy, and then his brother would be waiting for him on the <laughs> way back. <laughs> but that we. Paid. But that that was. That was kind of a rough price. area, that uh, Italian neighborhood. I, I, I wasn't born with these marks. <laughs> but they paid a price. They got their share, too. <sighs> no. My father, he came with me to St. Louis. I said, Paul, you got to go home now. No, he came to visit you in St. Louis. Yeah, but I said he did But he was with you... Uh, in Chicago on yeah, I the know day that, you but were I mean, inducted. But I told Pop, you got to go home now. Yeah. He didn't want to send me. And my brother went in. What my branch brother, of service did your brother, brother? I had a brother went in the Air Force. He went in the... Uh, Navy. Navy, yeah. Wasn't he in the Merchant Marine? I told him, what did you, why did you, what did you enlist? He said, what did you? <laughs> that ended it. No, we were different. He was in the Merchant Marine, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That, North yeah. Atlantic or? Uh, I think it was North Atlantic, wasn't he? Was, North Atlantic. And well, the, we're yeah. all coming out of the same place. We're going different out there. Did he, did he go to the Pacific too? Well, Your don't, brother? I don't remember. I don't remember now. Frank, I They thought maybe they would meet sometime in uh, Italy, but they never did. Uh. They must, they must, because Frank had, did some landing or do something, but uh, they somehow they they didn't get there at the same time. Did Frank was he discharged about the same time? I think so. Frank was discharged about the same time. Yeah. Yeah, when the war was over, you yeah. know, and, and uh, because at that time, you know, then uh, Japan surrendered and it was all over. Those were the days. Yeah. I well, said, what did you so. miss? He said, why did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That ended that conversation. Yeah. 
Well, that's about it, I guess. I don't know. The um, is there anything else you want to say for the record, Tony? Is there anything else you want to say for the record? Well, I don't know what I've said so far. Oh, well, you said a lot. We've, we've, uh, we've anything uh, that stands out in your mind that you would like to tell about your army life? Well, woman. <laughs> no, you don't need to say that. <laughs> no, when I got to I got to my cousins that were in the Italian army, and I told them if we if we got them as prisoners, we treat them good. But if they're if they are picked up by the Germans or the French, you know we're we're together, but uh, they're diff they're treated differently. But we I we had them. I think I had we had people on the payroll. And then when I was out there. Well, you told them that already. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's anything else that you stand that you can remember about your days in the army. Well, the only thing I think I can remember is when I was with my grandparents. When I visited my grandparents. Yeah, that would that sticks out in your yeah. mind. Yeah, that's probably the yeah. biggest thing. You know, that's a actually kind of amazing to think that uh, you're going back to the home country. I know, but you know, a lot of the German boys too. Yeah, same thing, they, they, all became, were, they were all fighting as Americans. Yeah, right. Amazing. Right. And so they were fighting against some, probably some of their relatives too. Not like Iraq, I mean, there's not very many. No. <laughs> Iraqis probably in the U.S. Army, you know. Yeah. Not yet. No, they're they're not being drafted, so you're it's an uh, all you might say volunteer army. Yeah. And I'm sure they're happy if they are here to be here and not over there, yeah. is fighting for Iraq. Well, I tell you, we had the Italian prisoners. We treated them good, though. We didn't uh, abuse them. But the Germans. Uh, this one fellow, I don't know. If, English. I don't know if this is on or not. I don't care if it is on. But uh, he was at one of the reunions, and he had been shot. Had, he was a pilot, and his plane was shot down. And so he and his crew, I guess, bailed out. And in fact, a lot of the people at the reunion didn't even know that he had was saved. I mean, they hadn't heard from him. They didn't know uh, if he was alive or dead. Well, anyway, he had been picked up by Italians. I don't know if it was the police or army or what, what but he said the first night they gave them a nice dinner. They were prisoner, American prisoners, but these Italians gave them a nice dinner. <laughs> and then the next night, uh, I don't know if it was another dinner or not, but they even gave them some wine. And then when this guy was leading them into their cell or wherever they were going to be kept, he says, I used to live in America. And be careful because their room is bugged. And this guy read, I forget how many volumes of books, I think he had said something like 2,000, and he was a Rhodes Scholar when he came out of the service. Wasn't that something? That is something. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, I, I, I'll never forget that. I thought that was really... So they, they, I guess they didn't, the, the Italians didn't treat them too badly. Huh? I, I say, I guess the, the, the Italian army didn't treat their prisoners too badly either because this one guy had said he had read so many books while he was prisoner. I don't know wh how he even had access to books. Like well, the that. American veterans said they took care of them. Yeah, the, I know. And yeah. the English. I don't think the English treated them good, though. Oh, I, oh, I yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. well, we didn't treat the English good either. Well, yeah, you were all right with the English. They were <laughs> your allies. Well, 
Essa. Vai me negar isso, não vai me. Eu não vou me yank. É uma coisa. Well, that might be a nice uh, point to, to conclude the interview. That's a nice uh, story about the Italians looking up to the uh -huh. American uh, flyer who was shot down. Yeah. Uh -huh. So thank you. Uh, thanks, Tony. Thanks, Phyllis. And if we think of anything more that we want to add to the record, we can do that. We can just turn on the tape recorder because we still have we still have room on the tape. I see. But uh, uh -huh. thank you for coming in and uh, testifying, as it were, to your uh, to your place in history. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Sure.